We're here at Orange County National for the PGA Show Demo Day. Uh, we're at Ping Golf, and we've got Marty Jertson, who is, did I just say that right? That's right. Yeah, I want to make say, and uh, he's involved not only with the design of the I-20 line, particularly the driver, I guess. Yeah, driver and fairway wood. And, but he's also a player. You might recognize uh, his name, uh, qualified for PGA Championship mm -hmm. and uh, played in a couple of other events as well. Yeah, the Justin Timberlake Shrine Owners Hospitals for Children Open, one of the longest names in golf. But uh, uh, Monday qualified for that two consecutive years, so... Uh, I was fortunate to play in three tour events in a uh, 12-month period, which was a lot of fun. Yeah, so when you're designing clubs, it also adds a lot of credibility not only to the tour player, but hopefully to the better player and the consumer out there to know that you can put them in play and make them work. So uh, S was out for a while. Now the I is out. The I-20's got big buzz going. Mm -hmm. uh, give us what's under the hood here what's inside that's driving this as the the new hot driver because not only just ping players out there i was at humana i was oh, at yeah. tory oh, yeah. and there's a lot of non-ping players yeah. putting this in the bag already so yeah. tell us why and as a lot of, as 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 you well know when you got non-staff players seeking out your product and getting the buzz that that's really is a compliment because of uh what happens out there day to day on tour so but good question what's under the hood let's look under the hood first and then we can look at the hood, which is really cool. Uh, what's under the hood is a Thai 811 body. Helps us save a little weight. And we have a lot of tungsten weight, and the, the toe and heel drives the inertia up. One thing we learned from the I-15 driver is that we needed to make it go straighter and have a little tighter shot pattern without sacrificing ball speed. So that's what we've done. We've given this driver a ton of forgiveness to it. Uh, kind of made some design trade-offs to make a little bit more aerodynamic for the better player. Uh, the amount of tungsten we have in here is over 20 grams. That's over 10% of the mass of the club in the tungsten weights. Uh, fully optimized. When it comes to the volume of the driver, uh, I know a lot of people out, out there have heard that it's better to go smaller on the driver, it's better for this, that, and the other, but it's better to optimize the driver to the highest volume you possibly can, and that's what we've done on, on the I-20 driver. It didn't sacrifice anything in terms of the volume. Um, so the, some of the other features that we have here, here is the hood, is a beautiful matte black paint, absorbs light, it's all business. Um, when you look down at it, you have no distractions, and then, you know, it's really inspirational. Uh, treatment that we put on the crown of the driver it helps you really, you know, kind of not have any distractions, any shininess, any bright spots when you go to hit your tee shot. Um, and uh, you know, one thing Bill Lundy told us, and this is this is kind of an interesting story. Um, I was playing with Bill Lundy at practice round the PGA Championship, and I was playing with him, and he had told us a story a couple months earlier when we had him hit this prototype with this paint on it, that somebody held a uh, or the, one of the marshals held the quiet sign up, and it's white and bright, you know, and all that. And he could see the reflection in the crown of his driver when he went to go take it back. He was like, "Oh man, you know, that kind of messed me up a little bit." So when he hit the, so when he when he hit this prototype, he was like, "Well, that's gonna that's gonna solve that problem for me." And then sure enough, I'm playing with him in the practice round for the PGA Championship, and we're on one of these holes, a little tight little tee box down by the river, and I'm hitting a three wood, and. It was before we came out with the I-20, and sure enough, Marshall throws up a sign, and I go to take it back, and whoop, I see this little blip. And I'm like, eh, you know, I didn't, I kind of miscued the shot a little bit. So there I am playing with Bill Knight. So we, it has a functional purpose. That's at the end of the day, that's what I'm getting to. Is this, this cosmetic treatment not only looks great, but it has a functional purpose to it. And at Ping, that's really what we're all about. Um, a few other things that's made it great, especially on the tour level super aerodynamic head, especially for a 460cc head. We, we, we gave it a little bit more curvature in the crown to help the airflow stay, uh, stay maintained and attached to the crown for a longer period of time. The faster you swing it, the more aerodynamics matters in a driver. Um, well, just like a Formula race car. I mean, if you've got a Yugo, there's no need to put fins and air spoilers on it as opposed to a Formula One. No doubt about it. And the same thing applies in golf. The faster you swing, the more it matters. So with this driver, we gave it low spin characteristics, one of the lowest spinning drivers out there. Uh, you know, so if our G20 is kind of medium low, this is low spinning. Another reason why it's working really good for a lot of tour players, or even for a mid or ha high handicapper, still has a ton of forgiveness. But we're able to take, if you take total spin off, you reduce side spin too. 
Okay, so so if somebody's struggling with a lot of spin, this is going to help get their spin rate down, not only help them hit it longer by optimizing their trajectory, but also hit it straighter. Um, one other really cool thing we did, we moved, you know, we do a lot of motion capture study and research at Ping uh, as part of our kind of long-term research package that we're, we're continuing to research. Um, and the toe of the golf club is going a lot faster than the heel because the club is rotating into its impact. Not only is it traveling a, on a linear path, but it's also a rotational path. So it's doing both things. So by moving the hosel axis further over, we basically made the whole golf club rotate in faster from the golf ball's perspective. What does that give? Higher ball speed. Sure. Uh, but we balance that with the CG so it still flies straight. Important. And I know I'm not an engineer, but if you're if you got a weight on the end of a rope and you're swinging it, that the, where you're holding it in your fingers to swing it, that circle's small, but that weight out there that's further away is moving just as fast or faster. Oh, yeah. And so, like you said, yeah. you, you know, you need to you yeah. need to be able to control that. And I want to con correct one thing. I misspoke. I said S, and I meant G20 series. And I know the guys will get on me about that, but we're talking I now. But, Marty, we appreciate you taking time to give us uh, some insight on this. Availability? Uh, it's going to hit stores, I think, on February 9th. So second week of February, everyone can get out there and hit your, uh, your, your local golf shop or your favorite retail store, uh, online store. Make sure you go through a fitting process. Can't emphasize that enough to make sure you get into the right shaft and loft combination so that you can get the most out of this driver. Super. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Have a great show, and we look forward to the guys uh, getting to hit it on Golf WRX and some positive reviews. I know they will. All right. We're very excited about that, too. I mean, obviously, our product, hopefully, you know, it's always speaks for itself. And, uh, you know, even without all the technical details, don't worry about that when you hit it. Just know that it works. Super. Thank you. Okay. Thanks.